it's really awkward. Majority of my relationships originate on Snapchat. It sounds completely stupid and I agree. Uh, but I have connected with more people on social media than I have in real life. Tells you a lot about me. Okay, I met this girl. That's how I'm gonna start all these stories. I met this girl. I met this girl. What's a good name? Let's call her Vanessa. So I met Vanessa through Snapchat. I honestly never met this girl in real life. She was beautiful and unique when I met her. Or when I followed her. I don't I don't know how you say it. I didn't when I saw her post, I found her and added her on Instagram, and then I added her on Snapchat. She was kind enough to add me back. We never talked until I eventually started a conversation with her on Snap, through Snapchat. And that kind of got the ball rolling. So we, we would basically talk every day and, you know, all night. It was rather small talk, but it slowly began to turn into regular conversations that, I don't know, was something. I b vaguely remember this, but we would, you know, talk to each other and, you know, got to know each other. She gradually opened up to me, surprisingly. She showed me how quirky she was and it was really adorable. <laughs> We were both awkward in our conversations. Young loser me began to fell for this girl. I was starting to have feelings for her and it was very reckless and foolish of me to actually do that. I mean, I was desperate when I was young and, and now I'm facing the consequences of that. So we were both flirting with each other, I believe. Honestly, I don't know how she felt about me. It was cute and it felt like she liked me. Although the answers of if she had feelings for me eludes me to this day. People will always fall for strangers we have never met before. That's what I learned. I never even heard her name. Her name? Oh shit. I never even heard her voice, let alone hear her say my name. One night, uh, we decided to FaceTime and it was like the longest night ever and she fell asleep on me. <laughs> it was pretty cute. I think we were watching uh, Disney movies or something. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. I made her smile. I made her smile. I made her smile and happy and honestly it was the best thing in the world. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, where was I? Okay. I, <coughs> I made her happy. And her smile. Her smile. <laughs> it's, all I, it's all I ever really wanted. I was able to learn a lot about Vanessa. And she was able to learn a lot about me. Vanessa and I are complete strangers to this day. I don't know what happened. It just happened. I was this random weirdo who still in her DMs. <laughs> and someone who she has never met before. Just like Maria, I guess the more that she got to know me, the less that she wanted to be with me. <sighs> repetition, repetition. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was, <laughs> I should probably look at the camera. Yeah, you know, I was filled with broken promises when I was young. And what do you expect from a kid who lives on an island? Over time, I realized my conversations with Vanessa was getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter shorter and then she started leaving me on red more and more often until like I began the conversations yeah when a girl leaves on red it's a clear sign yeah I'm not even gonna go into that one I mean I had to stop talking to her <laughs> yeah, to stop talking to her because I think I was just irritating her at that point I mean, I guess she really didn't want to hear what I had to say. And a year later, just just recently, like last semester, <laughs> uh, we started talking again. And it ended the same just a couple months ago. Vanessa, I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt like I have to apologize for like no reason at all, but I'm still doing it. I was stupid back then. <laughs> 
I could say that too myself. All right. So my intentions was to get to know you. And hey, I fell for you. I landed on my face. And I screwed up again. <sighs> Told you broken promises I can't keep. I called her beautiful, like a lot, a lot of times. I called many people beautiful. I called her beautiful a lot of times. And you know, it wasn't just her looks that was very, very enticing, but who she was as a person. That's what made her beautiful. But yeah, really, what, what kind of kid? What kind of kid? I guess what kind of kid? But really, what can a kid from a small island know, right? <laughs> Thank you for giving me that chance. A chance that not a lot of people will do. And there's a chance you might find this video. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter what I say. Because <laughs> I know that... <sighs> She's a very amazing, very smart person. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, she can go places I can't even go. She can do things I can't. Even if I would try to find this girl, I don't know if she'd remember me. <laughs> Will I be a stranger who passes by? Okay, bet, bucket list. I'm gonna find this girl. <laughs> I don't want to live my life with broken promises. I will beat you. <laughs> I say I will beat you. I'll find you someday.